हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट और एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर थ्री दैट इज हाफ ऑफ एक्टिव सर्किट विदाउट सी एंड विथ सी ओके व्हाट इज रेक्टिव सर्किट ए रेक्टिव सर्किट इज नथिंग बट ए सिंपल डायोड और ग्रुप ऑफ डायोड्स व्हिच कन्वर्ट द अल्टरनेटिंग करेंट इन डायरेक्ट करेंट द बेसिक टाइप ऑफ रेक्टिवार्स आर हाफ ओव रेक्टिवार एंड फुल ओव रेक्टिवार लेट्स टेक ए लुक एट द हाफ ओव रेक्टिवार A half wave rectifier is a type of rectifier which converts the positive half cycle of the input signal into pulsating DC output signal. Pulsating DC output signal. The half wave rectifier circuit is made up of an AC source, step down transformer, diode, and resistor. The value of resistor one kilo ohm. The value of uh, the specification of the diode is one N four zero zero seven. Now we will construct our half wave rectifier circuit in this component development system. This is the component development system. Here we are uh, we are applying 220 volt AC from AC source. Inside this uh, component development system, there is a step down transformer. You see, this one is common terminal. This is 5 volt AC. This one is 10 volt AC, 15 volt AC. According to our requirement, we can take any value. Okay. Uh, now today we are taking 0 to 5 volt. Means this one is this two are secondary terminal. So this one is diode. You see here is the white ring. So this one is cathode. This one is anode. Cathode connected with R. First from AC source, five volt. We have to connect here. Now these two are connected because these two are inserted in same vertical line. Cathode connected with load resistor. These two are in same vertical line. Another terminal of R goes to another secondary terminal. Now, this is our half wave rectifier circuit. So this one is input five volt AC, and this one is output. We are taking output from this load resistor. Now we have to take all this reading. First input voltage V peak using CRO, peak output voltage using CRO. DC output voltage we have to measure using multimeter DC output voltage you have to calculate RMS voltage using digital multimeter across load resistor then we can calculate refill factor VRMS by VDC without C next we have to measure input frequency then output frequency after that we have to connect capacitor means filter circuit then we have to take reading DC output voltage measured with C then RMS voltage Without uh, with C, then we have to calculate refill factor with C. Okay, now we have to take first reading that is input voltage using CRO. This one is or CRO cathode ray oscilloscope. We are using here channel one. Channel one from here using this uh, probe, we have to connect across secondary terminal of five volt AC. Then switch on this system. Switch on this CRO. Okay, now we are getting input signal. So how can we measure? Measure peak to peak amplitude. How many uh, divisions are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. You see, we are using channel one. Channel one shows two volt. That means seven into two, fourteen volt. Peak to peak, fourteen volt. That means peak voltage fourteen by two, so seven volt. This is our input voltage. Okay, next. Peak output voltage Vm using CRO. So which one is output? Load resistor. So connect. You see always current flow uh, flowing from here to, from here to here. So capacitor uh, CRO probe positive positive terminal we have to connect here and negative terminal here. Now we are getting output signal. Let's see we are getting only positive cycle. Negative cycle is clipped. Okay, so measure Vm. This one is Vm. How many divisions are there? One, two, three, three point two, three point two, and see the scale two volt. That means four. Uh, uh, <coughs> 
कनेक्ट पजिटिव टर्मिनल हियर एंड नेगेटिव टर्मिनल हियर We are getting 1.98 volt DC output voltage. Okay. Next, uh, DC output voltage we can calculate VDC equal to Vm by pi. We know Vm Vm 6.4 divided by pi. We can calculate that is 2.03. Next, RMS voltage across output using digital multimeter. RMS voltage means AC voltage. We can measure RMS voltage using multimeter. Set it to AC mode. Measure AC voltage. Across output, we are getting 2.46 or 47 volt. Okay, then refill factor VRMS by VDC. We can calculate refill factor VRMS by VDC. That is VRMS 2.46 and VDC 1.96. So 2.4, 1.96, uh, 1.96. 2.46 by 1.96 that is 1.25 volt theoretical value 1.21 we are getting 1.25 volt okay next input frequency how can you measure input frequency you know using cro we can measure input frequency so connect input terminal here you see peak to peak distance first measure time period how many divisions are there 1 2 3 4 Time base five millisecond. That means twenty millisecond. So t equal to twenty millisecond. Then we, we can calculate frequency. That is fifty hertz. This one is line frequency. Next output frequency. So how can we measure output frequency? Connect CRO probe across output. Now see peak to peak distance. This should be same. One, two, three, four. 4 into 5, so 20 millivolt. Uh, sorry, 20 millisecond. That is 50 hertz. Next. Okay. Now we have to connect filter circuit. Uh, why? You see, uh, this is our input voltage and this is our output voltage. We have to convert AC to DC. But this one is pulsating DC. Here is some AC component. We can remove AC component using filter circuit. Here we are using capacitor filter circuit. You see, capacitor is connected parallel with RL. This one is electrolytic capacitor. You see, always current flowing in this direction. So, capacitor positive terminal you have to connect here. Negative terminal you have to connect here. Here we are using 33 microfarad capacitor. This one is 33 microfarad capacitor. Now see, this this one is positive terminal. This one is negative terminal. so from here we have to connect here and here now see this one is output with c the output can be represent by this way by the by this way from the capacitor changes through the diode up to uh, the capacitor charges through the diode Up to Vm, and then discharge slowly up to this again charging and discharging. So due to charging and discharging of this capacitor, we are getting this type of waveform. In this way, we can remove AC component. Now we have to take our next reading DC output voltage measured with C. So set your multimeter DC mode. Measure DC voltage. Positive terminal we have to connect here. And negative terminal, we have to connect here. We are getting 5.21 volt. Next, RMS voltage with C. RMS voltage means AC voltage. So set your multimeter AC mode. Measure RMS voltage. Oh, 
0.74 volt okay now we can calculate ripple factor now see that our reading first input voltage 5 uh, 7 volt next peak output voltage 6.4 volt see here uh, see that this diagram this one is positive uh, <coughs> signal and this one is positive signal okay so this am vm 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 uh, sorry this one is peak voltage and this one is vm so peak is 7 volt and vm is 6.4 volt so uh, why because when this one, when this this one we are using this one is silicon diode voltage drop when this one is forward bias voltage drop across this diode is should be near about 0.6 to 0.7 volt so uh, what should be the theoretical value of vm uh, theoretical value of vm equal to v peak minus 0, uh, 0.6 to 0.7 volt that is 6.4 volt so we are getting 6.4 volt next dc output voltage measured using digital multimeter 1.96 dc output voltage calculated vdc equal to vm by pi vm 6.4 that is 2.03 volt rms vrms rms voltage across output 2.48 we can calculate ripple factor 1.25 theoretical value 1.21 input frequency 50 hertz output frequency also 50 hertz DC output voltage with C 5.12 volt RMS voltage with C 0.73 so ripple factor with C we are getting 0.14 volt and theoretical value 0.16 ripple factor theoretical value gamma equal to 1 by 2 root 3 FRC F means input frequency 50 hertz R means value of register we are using here 1 kilo ohm and C 33 microfarad now using these readings we can plot graph see this one is input signal this this one is without C and with C we can plot in this way you see this one is zero level see this one is our ground level This is our ground level. From ground, this one goes to 1 division, 2 division, 2 into 2, 4 volt. So this one is 4 volt. From 4 volt, this one capacitor starts charging. Um, maximum reading 1, 2, 3.2. 3.2 into 2 volt. So 6. 6.4 volt okay so easily now easily we can plot graph input signal output signal with c and without c and uh, time period 20 millisecond okay thank you